Stacy. Hi. Welcome to the Startup Fan. Thank you. Oh, thanks for getting in. Sorry about the bit of a delay. We had to go knock out George Foreman and just rush yeah. back down. A quick oh, meet and greet. He said, I want to meet the Startup Fan, so we had to fill him in. <laughs> Great. Tell us a bit about Pink Consulting. Pink Consulting is a project management consulting firm. Um, not only do we do project management where we go in and um, manage projects for clients, we also focus a lot on team building and team dynamics. Um, really trying to um, empower diversity and inclusion. We also take um, into consideration millennials because millennials think differently. So yeah, course, team yeah. building around um, just working with other people mm. and all the team dynamics that come when you have a lot of different types of people, different backgrounds, different strengths, different weaknesses. So a lot of workshops, a lot of um, activities to help people to learn to work with others and to accept each other's differences and just at the end of the day know that we're all working together to um, make the project a success. Very so that's good. Pretty much and how, how did that start? Well, I actually was a project manager. I worked for a lot of Fortune 500 companies managing a oh, lot wow, of okay. enterprise projects, um, large organizations. Um, managing both agile and waterfall methodologies for both infrastructure and software development projects and I've done this from a professional services perspective and mm -hmm. also for internal um, business projects and so um, after a while I was like you know let me just try to see if I can start this for myself. That's yeah. really good isn't it? Mm -hmm. are, are you on your own doing this or do you have a team or? Um, I actually am on my own but I okay. incorporate other people as needed based on the project that I'm doing. So I also do workshops, I do, do panel discussions mm -hmm. I'm, as part of a panel, I do team building um, activities and then I go and manage projects for um, other people yeah. in their companies and also I'm on a board that actually um, focuses on HR and diversity so um, diversity is a, a passion of mine. So. I really love that we're all different and you know how we come together yeah. to do yeah. different things and I just want to be able to you know talk about that and help people to just see how how nice it is to be able to um, get to know people from different backgrounds and, mm. and and be able to build on strengths and weaknesses and at the end of the day we're just all trying to to do one thing and that's to make the project successful when we um, implement different projects. This is the only company you have is it? Um, no, it isn't actually. I have a travel club that is for women. It's um, called the Click Travel and Social Alliance. The Click. Cool. Uh -huh. It's in seven it's really cities. Cool. Yeah. It's actually for women who um, want to travel and be on the go, but don't want to go solo. So okay. what we do is we have local events so that they can get to know each other, and then we have uh, various trips throughout the year. We've done things like Dubai, um, yeah. gone wow. to Greece culinary tour. Um, we've done Vegas Uncorked the St. Lucia Jazz Festival, and uh, uh, we actually are planning some stuff for next year. And, and this is, it's personal, it's not business? It's personal. Oh, okay. Very, it's a cool thing yeah. to do though. Mm -hmm. really. But I do want to expand it and do employee resource groups, maybe, because you know, employee resource groups, they have well, some for women, mm -hmm. where they try to help women um, work together and different things like that, so maybe putting together some um, trips for the women that um, okay. they can um, get to know each other and empower each other. When are you going to look after us lads? I don't know. You guys have it together already. <laughs> <laughs> we had to travel it. Yeah. <laughs> what made you come up with the idea? Well, I actually went on a trip. I'm the type I'll go by myself if I have to. And I went mm -hmm. to Barbados to the Food, Wine and Run Festival. And I was on the beach and I met so many women that were there by themselves. I met a lady that was working for Radio One, another one that was from DC that works with some of the NFL players. And they were all there by themselves. Okay. And so I said, you know, all these people are by themselves in some of these countries are you know, it's good to have somebody with you. Oh, yeah, yeah so, of course. And also for safety. Yeah, yeah, so they want to go, but then it's nice to have somebody there, even if you do things by yourself, but just being able to know someone's there. So when we have these trips, we have group activities, and then we have people that usually will go and maybe go to the spa, maybe go zip lining or yeah. do something that they want to do. Did, did that just kind of, did you have a business idea for that, or did they just grow into a business, or what way did it start? It was just, I, you know, I was just listening to a lot of people, women, especially in a market like Atlanta, there's a lot of s women that are, you know, single and, you know, successful and want to yeah. travel and they just don't want to go to some of these places by themselves. Yeah. So. That's really cool. It's a cool thing to yeah. do. Mm. We don't let anyone out of the van unless we get a piece of advice yeah. for entrepreneurs. And if you just give us, whoever's watching it, a piece of advice. Um, I'd just say never give up on your dreams. Um, go for it and keep going and you'll be a success. I know I'm not where I want to be, but I will definitely continue to strive to, to make it happen. Very good. Brilliant. Stacey, Stacey, thanks so much. For it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Brilliant. Thank you.